Hi, I'm George and welcome back to part three of this series. Now, though we wanted to show you both the pyro and water rocket flights of this rocket, uh, unfortunately our certification officer was unable to make it to the last HPR launch due to a family emergency. And as he also had our HPR motors, we weren't able to fly it in that configuration. And so we only got to fly it as a water rocket and that's what we'll be showing you in this video. So here we are at Mullaly. Here we're just fitting the water rocket nozzle. And then we attach the payload section and that gets screwed down with 10 screws. Into the nose cone we put an altimeter one just into a block of foam. Uh, this is as a backup uh, altimeter reading to the strato logger. And there's a small vent hole in the side of the nose cone. Here we flew the rocket with 2.8 litres of water. So the parachute deployed right at Apogee, but it still took us about a second before the canopy fully opened because it was fairly tightly packed. The nozzle was fairly easy to clean off. And so here is the reading from the altimeter one. And that said 673 feet. And then we downloaded the data from the strato logger and that gave us an altitude of 631 feet. So we were pretty happy with that flight, although we launched it at a lower pressure. Uh, we didn't want to blow it up before we've had the opportunity to fly it as a pyro rocket. And so after we've had a chance to do that, uh, we'll up the pressure and see how high it'll go. Until next time, thanks for watching.